So good afternoon. It's one o'clock on my time. My name is Megan Dodson. I work with the National Weather Service in Northern Indiana. And we're just going to give a little discussion here about the severe weather threat late this afternoon into the evening. Um, as our confidence is increasing, we've had quite the escalation of outlooks this morning. So we'll go over that. Um, and then we'll take any questions afterwards. This is going to be recorded and we will send out the slides afterwards. So with that being said, I'll get started. Um, the first thing is we have high confidence in two rounds, essentially, of severe storms late this afternoon into the evening, so around 5 p.m. Uh, to about 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So most of the threats we're expecting will be damaging winds, but we do have the potential for some isolated tornadoes, and it's especially in that moderate in, uh, area um, in the southwest there. And then we're going to see some cold and windy weather behind it. It's going to kind of feel a little bit like a roller coaster. We have this nice warm severe weather day and then uh, tomorrow will be cold miserable and uh, fun if we have any kind of cleanup efforts going on so uh, what has changed since our last time we sent out any information was we have upgraded to a moderate and enhanced risk over much of the area and we have greater conference in the widespread uh, potential for severe weather for a longer duration so uh, just to give you an idea of the evolution you know we have uh, the first round that kind of goes through you can see this loop here and then we have the second one is more of a line so we have really all threats are on the table flooding is the least of the concerns um, and hail and blower and we have more of the 58 to 74 mile an hour wind gusts is the more likely and then some chances for those higher end wind gusts and a few tornadoes so we have two rounds one 5 to 8 p.m the other from about 8 to 12 p.m somewhere in that time range we think the, the threat will wane slightly as we get into the late evening and overnight hours but it is looking a little bit better for that time frame than it was in the previous forecast so that may eventually um it may just be a non-issue so that's the, that's the story there so with round one that's that 5 to 8 p.m time frame we're expecting potentially more discrete storm cells and this is kind of what the uh, this is one of the model solutions this is not an exact forecast don't look at anything for a, a specific point for your location but um, we have more discrete storm cells that could produce any manner of threats that you would get with those higher end storms. Um, but we just have a little bit lower confidence due to the model disagreement and also between runs over the last few days that's been kind of bouncing back and forth with this afternoon time period as to what's exactly going to happen. But we do think that there is decent potential for some um, so a tornadic rifts, uh, so maybe some large hail. Uh, this would be the best potential during this whole event for hail. Um, and those higher wind gusts as well. And it could be some flooding if you get some cells over the same area, but it's really a low risk as a progressive system. So it's a little bit less certain if the ingredients can kind of come together just right to create the higher end threat, but it is, has been increasing throughout the day that we, we are feeling more and more confident. So round two, we do expect definitely, we're gonna see some of those wind gusts that, you know, lower end severe threat around 60 miles an hour is probably a, a decent bet, uh, but we do have a higher risk for those 75 mile an hour plus gusts, so the damage could be more widespread with this round um, in that 8 to 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. time frame. The risk for flooding and hail really goes down with this. That line's really going to whip through, so the winds are really our biggest focus with this. Um, and we could have some embedded um, uh, tornadoes with that line as well. Uh, we don't have as high of confidence there. And again, this is just a simulated forecast. This is not exactly what's going to happen. It's just to give you an idea. Uh, if you look at the timing a little more, that line is kind of entering in our west towards 8 to 9 p.m., crosses through by about 11 p.m. That's around there. And then maybe possibly weakening into Ohio. We don't know for sure. Um, it just kind of becomes a little bit more broken as the forcing moves off to the north and then the southeast. So uh, it's a little bit uncertain at that point. Then, unfortunately, to follow for Saturday, we're back to winter. Uh, temps kind of plummet behind this. We have a wind advisory for gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour, and that still stays on track. So, you know, in addition to anything that you're going to have impact wise from the storms, there could be additional problems with power outages or um, difficulties with cleanup efforts. Um, from the storms during the day tomorrow. It's also gonna be kind of cold. And this is uh, one of the models uh, forecasted temperatures. And this is just showing that colder air coming in. And with the backside of the system moving in, we're gonna see more rain snow mix. So it's gonna be kind of yucky outside. And the wind chills by the afternoon, you know, get into the mid twenties and thirties. 
uh, with the highs in the 40s and 50s in the morning dropping down to the 30s and low 40s uh, for the afternoon. So won't be much fun to clean up if you're outside, but uh, dress appropriately if you're going. So there you go, there's that last time frame. So uh, with that being said, that's the long story short. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to us, obviously on here if you have any questions um, and we will go from there. So I will stop.